in a sea of stucco and beige. The Hostetler's home is a standout. Oh my God, I said no, no. What's going on here? And the Hispanic uh, painter goes, loco in the cabeza. The idea, says marketing guru Romeo Mendoza, was not to blend in. So he painted the four-bedroom, two-bath abode sunrise orange and a shade he calls broccoli green. The colors and signs then transformed it into a two-story billboard for his company, Brainiacs from Mars. It's pretty cool to be the first people to have your house painted like this. All the weird people that just like stop and look at your house, it's pretty cool, the attention you get. <laughs> you like that? Yeah. Sarah's parents beat out 40,000 applicants and will earn about $2,000 a month as long as the neon colors remain. Scott and Beth Hostetler are both deaf but can easily describe their glowing home. She just says it's bright. It's within the city code, so the only time you can't have the permanent the signs up, so you have to take them down. Was allowed what wasn't allowed. Mendoza was inspired to offer a fee to families in need after his daughter asked him to explain the word foreclosure. We saw early on that it's a way for us to to kind of dig people out of this economy uh, because I mean the government's doing what they can but but the money's in the private sector and if we can get the private sector and homeowners to work together we can get out of this housing mess sooner. The Hostetlers aren't in jeopardy of losing their home. In fact they plan to use the money for Sarah's schooling. Go for it. That's the way I see it.